Welcome to Waters World. I'm Jesse Waters. The Democrats divided. That's the subject of tonight's Waters Words. Democrats made a decision on Super Tuesday. They chose a confused man over a communist. My name's Joe Biden. I'm a Democratic candidate for the United States Senate. We hold these truths to be self-evident. All men and women created by the... Go, you know the, you know the thing. Look, tomorrow's Super Tuesday. By the way, this is my little sister, Valerie, and I'm Jill's husband. Oh, no, this is... The, oh, you switched on me. This is my wife. This is my sister. They switched on me. Thank you. Thanks for your time. Please come back in less than 13 years, sir. All right, Chuck. Thank you very much. Uh, all right. Uh, it's Chris, I mean, but anyway. Chris. I just did Chris. Yeah. No, no, I, I, I just did Chuck. Now, Joe Biden just doesn't have what it takes to be the president of the United States. So why did Democrats rally around him? Because Bernie's scary. It's like the bachelorette. You know, the Democrats are the bachelorette. And at the final rose ceremony, you have two guys standing there. One's crazy, so you propose to the other one, who's kind of a dope. It doesn't mean you're in love with the dope. It just means he's not the crazy one. And it's probably not going to work out. But it just works out for the time being. And here's the sick part. Biden's being taken advantage of. The Democrat establishment knows Joe isn't all there. And if he gets into the White House, he's not going to be calling the shots. The people behind the scenes will. It's like elder abuse. The Democrats are so power hungry, they're propping up a guy who doesn't even know what he's saying or where he is. The President Biden won't be running the country. They're just using him to take back the White House, the National Security Council, state, the FBI, CIA. Last week, Biden got the deep state endorsement. James Comey, John Brennan, Susan Rice, Samantha Power, all back Joe. That should tell you everything you need to know. The Democrat Party knows Joe can be controlled, but they can't control Sanders. He's a Marxist. Howard Stern had a little advice on how to handle Sanders. I would never call Bernie Sanders Bernie Sanders. I would have called him Karl Marx Jr. I would have said, listen, <laughs> Karl Marx You're Jr. You're going to be... All the he wants to get through all the free Medicaid and all the free college. No one's going to pay for it. No one in Congress, Democrats or Republicans, are going to approve it, and neither is the Senate. So we're going to be sitting there. I would have turned to myself, okay, so tell me, your, tell me your utopia. How much money should anyone be allowed to make? And by the way, Bernie, when I'm president, I don't like people who have three homes. So I'm going to take away two of your homes because you have three of them. How do you feel about that? Do you think Biden could pull that off? There's no way. He's a bad debater and a bad campaigner. And Bernie isn't going away. He's going to take it to the convention. Bernie is about to knock Joe the next week. Even if he keeps losing, he'll go down swinging. Bernie, he plays better as an underdog anyway. He can't handle being the front runner. You saw that. He crashed and burned when he had the lead. Remember, he praised communism and couldn't tell you how he'd pay for socialism. So the voters chose Sleepy Joe instead. They can't paper over their problems. The Democrats are divided by age, race, region, especially ideology. Do you think the Bernie bros are going to hold their nose and vote for Joe? Mr. Establishment, who wants to work with Mitch McConnell? who votes for bad wars and bad trade deals? No. There's a gaping wound on the left. You just can't slap a Band-Aid on it. The president broke down the state of the race the other day. I'll tell you, I was all set for Bernie, because I thought it was going to happen. It, you know, we get ready for things, right? So mentally, I'm all set for Bernie. Communist, I had everything down. He's a communist. I was all set. And then we have this crazy thing that happened, right, on Tuesday, which he thought was Thursday. <laughs> but he also said 150 million people were killed with guns, and he was running for the United States Senate. Support me, I'm running for the United States. There's something going on there. So now I'm ready for Bernie, and now all of a sudden I have a whole different, you know, it's a whole different deal, two very different people. I think in a certain way, Bernie would be tougher. The president still matches up beautifully against Biden. Biden doesn't have a movement behind him. His base is fractured. 
He's soft on China, soft on the border, terrible on trade, bad instincts overseas. He likes AOC's Green New Deal. And he oversaw a sluggish recovery while the Trump economy created over half a million new jobs in just the last two months. And he doesn't have a sharp enough tongue to go toe to toe with Donald Trump under the lights. And by the way, where's Hunter?